so hi guys uh, in this session we'll see about some uh, additional tools and some additional techniques which is available in blender okay so in this one uh, we'll see about like uh, creating a selection set so let's see about that one how to uh, create a selection set for this uh, characters well, yeah just for selecting the controllers for that purpose you just go to edit preferences and we need to enable the add-on selection set yeah this is like bone selection set okay just enable that and then save preferences okay so the selection set add-on uh, can be used only for those bones and uh, controllers which is related to the bones okay it won't work for any objects or not for objects we need to use collections or groups okay so we have loaded that uh, selection set plugin now we'll check how it going to work okay so after loading that um, just go to this armature over here just select make sure you have selected that one uh, selected that armature and then go to the properties over here armature properties and over here you can see the selection set which is uh, added over here okay if that plugin is not there then it won't be loaded over here and so you need to enable that one okay so now we have got that uh, selection set like that so let us check like how to add the selection set and how to add the controllers okay so we are just going to use this selection set create a new empty selection set okay just click on the plus icon so it will be like created an empty selection set okay so if you double click we can rename that one and i'm just going to give a name like only for the legs i'm just going to give this for legs like that and enable that right now it's an empty selection set and we have we don't have anything in this empty selection set so we need to add that object okay so i'm just selecting the leg over here and then click on assign okay so after selecting that controller and then select this particular uh, selection set enable this and then assign it so that particular selection whatever you have selected it will be assigned to this particular selection set okay so now we'll check like uh, whether it's working or not so we have selected this and we have assigned that particular leg controller to this one so select that legs and then click on select so now we can see that leg controller got selected okay so now, now we'll see like adding all the controllers so i'm just selecting all the controllers and click on new selection set and assign it and giving the name like all okay so let us check so, yes it's working so here like this we can create uh, our selection set over here like this if you click on deselect it will be deselected okay so i mean that and if you want to remove just simply click on the minus so that selection set will get uh, lost okay so like that uh, we can use the selection set the next one uh, which we are going to see is like the pose breakdowner so let us check how it's going to work so here i have a, a small piece of animation uh, still in work in progress so from here i will explain you how that is going to work so i'm just uh, selecting all the controllers and then taking uh, this frame number 12 pose so just right click and then go for pose breakdowner the shortcut key is like shift e okay create a suitable breakdown pose for the current frame like that so after clicking on that one you can use your mouse uh, like uh, moving forward and backward so it will create a, a breakdown pose for you so the similar method you can use it for uh, this one a push pose from breakdown or else like a relax pose from breakdown so we have uh, this kind of options available okay so like that uh, you can use this tool actually the pose breakdowner uh, this is one simple option uh, which is similar to the twin machine which is available in blender already so that's what and the next one uh, we'll see about like uh, scaling the keys already we know like in time uh, in time slider we made some adjustments like by simply clicking and moving uh, the keys like so i'm just opening the dope sheet for uh, better understanding 
Um, so here, suppose if I want to scale it from the, scale it from uh, frame number fourteen. Okay, um, so I'm just selecting the keyframes from here, and you need to press the S key, scale. Okay, S key, and you can see the mouse pointer. You, you can see like the dotted lines, which is represent the pivoting point. It's starting from the playhead. So from where the playhead is there, it will take that position as a pivot point so from there it will begin to scale so just simply press the s key and then move your mouse like uh, forward or backward so it will scale up and down. this is uh, for uh, scaling in uh, timeline so scaling in the graph how we need to do so for that purpose i'm just selecting any one of the controller uh, and switching to graph editor and we want this Okay, so right now I'm just selecting uh, the cog control over here and uh, only selecting this uh, translate XYZ. Okay, fine. So here we'll see like how to uh, make a scaling operations and all. Okay, so uh, for this one, suppose if I want to uh, increase or decrease uh, the height position, okay. So I'm just selecting that particular curve, which is the axis. So pressing the G key and Y, uh, yeah, this is one. So now I'm ju just want to reduce the height. Okay, somewhere like this. So I just want to reduce the height of this uh, particular action. Uh, so I'm just selecting from here, in this case. Okay, now I just want to scale it down. Okay, this overall actions I need to scale it down. So how to do that? Uh, the same option over here. Like uh, we need to press the S key. Okay. So now if I press the S key, now it will go for free scaling. So if I'm just activating S key scale tool, and now you can see the mouse pointer. It's near to that uh, uh, center somewhere on the center, and it's scaling something uh, different, right? It's scaling to all the directions like that. So but we need only the scaling need to be done in uh, Y axis over here. So how to do that? So here, uh, in the graph editor, uh, if you press the N key, you can get this property. So here, right? By default, this cursor will be there. Okay, it's uh, similar to the 3D cursor, but over here we used to call it like a 2D cursor. So this cursor X represent your time playing head, and Y represents the position. Like over uh, here, uh, suppose if I select this particular key and then cursor from selection so it will move to that particular uh, cursor position and then I'm selecting all the keys over here now if I press uh, yes key you can see like uh, it's still going on the center right so we need that pivot point to be here so just go to this uh, pivot point option which is present on the uh, right top corner just click on that and then go for 2d cursor right now bounding box center which means Whatever I am selected, it will create a bounding box and it will create a center point for that one. From there, it will scale. So now, if I give like 2D cursor, okay. So right now, our 2D cursor is over here and we positioned our cursor over here. So now, if I press the S key, you can see that uh, uh, pivot point, the dotted lines, it's starting exactly from the cursor position, okay, or from there. So now, we need to scale the uh, curves in Y axis. This is like over here, it's a, the axis is Y and Z, X axis, okay. So, press S key and then Y. Now, if I move the mouse pointer, see, it's scaling from there. Okay, something like that, uh, we can uh, scale from there. Suppose if you want to scale it from the center position over here, somewhere like this, then move your uh, cursor over here. Uh, or else you can if, if it is become a tough for you to go for the particular key just select that region and then click for cursor from selection or else just go to the uh, play head and then don't release your uh, mouse key button just simply drag click and drag so the cursor 2d cursor will follow your mouse pointer so you can position it over here somewhere over here suppose if you want to scale it from here uh, just uh, drop it over here 
and then select the keys and if you press the S key see the pivot the scaling pivot is over here and for scaling in X axis press the S key and then X key so here on the left side top over here you can find out like scaling along X axis so if you move your mouse it will be like scaling on the X axis which is like timing okay so S and Y is like the value changes the position you can see the spacing and over here this one is like the timing changes so like that uh, you can use that uh, scaling key options and all and uh, you can do it for uh, multiple uh, curves also like uh, if you have some multiple curves over here and uh, if you want your mouse pointer like scaling from here because are from selection so it will select the center position of this selected two keys select that and I'm just going to uh, scale it in uh, Y axis so pressing the S key and Y key so somewhat like this we can scale the graph okay and suppose if I want over here and uh, in cursor and I just want the cursor need to be somewhere around here and if I'm scaling on X axis will go like this okay so like that uh, you can scale the curves and uh, over here uh, already I think we have uh, know about these uh, those curves in the previous session I have explained about that one and uh, this one is like nearest frame is like that uh, frame step uh, the second step like that so it won't uh, go for the point values frames so it will exactly snap to the next frames like that so like that you can uh, use that one okay so these are some of the tools and options which is available in printer and uh, the next session i will explain you about some of the useful add-ons uh, which is there in uh, printer okay see you in the next session thank you